No, no, he, he was, was uh, he, the, the IAS was um, uh, the um, vice chairman uh, UPN. Okay. That was uh, the IAS. Uh, he could go. Elijah Japande was the chairman there. Okay. He was the vice um, chairman. Lagos. Lagos. Okay. And uh, you know, then things were, were not as, uh, as sharp. Let me say sharp. Okay as it is now and uh, it's sharp in the sense that um, there are a lot of uh, things to do okay. and there are a lot of communications to do which they did that time you will hardly see a, a, a political party member saying things that is quite different from what party leaders have said because the most have taking that thing through them before it was announced and uh, that's what I mean by sharp or not. But uh, now everybody seems to be the leader. Everybody is uh, unto himself. I mean, you can, we're in the same party but you can say things that is quite different from what your party wants. Uh, it doesn't matter now. I mean, that is a, is, is a quite um, is an albatross, mm. and uh, we really, really don't need that. Mm. Unless you start to move from your party to another party, and uh, these days um, is quite rampant, and uh, you will eventually know them because in their behavior, in their thought processes, mm. you get to know. Okay, this particular person is not uh, a progressive. Mm. And uh, he is rather a conservative, mm. and uh, that, that, that is the situation. What have you been up to since you left the Senate? What have you been doing? Well, uh, let me say this first and foremost. I may have left the Senate for now, but I have not left politics. Okay. I'm still very active in uh, politics, and um, in um, my day-to-day -day things, uh, I still go back to my business. Uh, this is the property business and um, any other thing that comes my way, uh, supply, anything. Uh, but uh, by and large, I'm still a politician and I'm really proud to say that. I'm not, I'm not, uh, let me say it again. I'm not a, a professional in politics. If there's anything like that, I am a politician. Let's talk about um, the last um, seven years of um, the um, APC. And as a federal level, how do you how do you see what the APC has been able to achieve as a federal level under President Brown? Well, um, since then, 2015, I know that um, we've had um, a change in government and uh, if you want to do a kind of a comparison you see that um, there are some changes it may not be gradual it may not be as expected by Nigerians you know, Nigerians can be impatient very very impatient and uh, if it took 16 years of PDP and uh, that is uh, exactly where we were in 2015, then we should be careful, we should be hesitant in judging uh, the APC now or about what they are doing. If you want to compare them or you want to say this is how far APC has gone from 2015 up till now. I believe we've done quite well. And um, if you look at the, the president himself, he said the three issues he raised was um, the, uh, the issue of corruption, economic situation and um, the security the security 
and um, it's unfortunate that the the point uh, the, the the security issue came to that point when it was coming in and uh, if you look at the security thing it's not only in nigeria it's a global thing it's a global phenomenon everything happened every time and it's tackling the issue very well look when he said he was not going to replace the, the the army i mean the service chiefs he must have his reasons i mean he was a, a war commander himself so he must have his reasons for doing that anyway he must have tried he, he has really tried when it comes to the issue of security and nobody nobody has ever tried more than him when it comes to corruption you have to do the comparison again he has really really tried about the issue of corruption to the extent that any everybody now fears that look i can't do this unless i i i get caught and um, i have to explain certain things and then when it comes to the issue of uh, the economy i mean on this he has done quite um, a lot he has brought in certain changes you see what we need to do is to give him that chance to exhibit himself as far as i'm concerned he has done very well and um, if given more chance i believe he will probably do more than what he has done presently okay now let's talk about um the politics of Lagos in terms of the APC and all of that. What do you make of all that has been happening for some time now? Well, uh, for some times you mean uh, some who lose uh, yes, regime. regime and so. uh, well, he, he's, um, he came on board, we know how he came, and uh, I, I believed um, the when he came, there were certain things um, that uh, he felt were, were not done and uh, he couldn't have done them by that time because of the rain and that translated to huge um, um, traffic and um, we also have the, the unfinished um, BRT lanes and so on and so forth. I believe that um, in an attempt to make sure that uh, he did um, everything right, uh, that brought some um, kind of um, some kind of um, um, I don't want to say delay, but he um, cannot go beyond what he was doing at that time because of the the clemency of the rain and uh, so on and so forth and uh, I believe um, you give him a year plus he will, we will be able to say categorically whether he is doing well or not but right now he is um, trying his best one he must first learn what was on, on the ground and uh, he must also bring what on the ground to reality, which I believe is what he's trying to do. He's just spent um, some six months there about. So another six months, I, I believe. Uh, and the way is going now, I'm talking of now, uh, you, you can see that um, he's not doing badly. He's doing very well. And uh, I doubt if anybody will come to Lagos and uh, will not do very well because everything seems to be in place for such a person and the most important thing is money and uh, when you have the money the igr is increasing and so on and so forth then what you need to do is to put on your the, the, the thought process about okay how do i go about whatever he wants to go about and um, i believe um, he's, he's doing well what, let's talk about your relationship with them. I show you. How's it been over the years? Well, he's uh, quite cordial. We have a very, very cordial relationship. I consider him as a, uh, a senior brother, and uh, we, uh, we don't 
don't hesitate to see him whenever there is a need and uh, whenever there is also need for consultation, particularly in, my, in any field that I have. And um, if you see Ashiwa Ju, you can see that uh, his case is a uh, service above self. Is always a particular about you, not uh, you consider, not you considering him, and uh, that has shown in his uh, uh, behavior over time. He will not um, hesitate to to give a helping hand where it is sought, and uh, I, I I believe um, he's a nice guy, uh, regardless of whatever anybody might think. Everybody Do you think has been misunderstood? Well, uh, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, everybody is uh, free to think uh, whatever he wants to think about him. But uh, by and large, by and large, is um, that uh, position, that uh, uh, attempt to make sure that uh, you are okay, that you are alright, and that you fit in into certain uh, position uh, before he gives it to you. Uh, he, I think he has done his, uh, his best. As I was saying, yes, you may have uh, your faults. You may also have, uh, that, may, that may be what we call a human error in uh, thinking about certain things. You may think, okay, when I put this person here, it's going to be here this way. And it may turn out that um, you were wrong. And uh, coming out to say you are wrong again is a, is a good sign of leadership. You say, oh, yes, I'm sorry. I made this point. I felt really, really sorry for leading you uh, not right. I mean, leading you on the wrong path. And uh, we have to do certain things again. So I believe he is a good one. You were in the Senate for three times. Two times. Two, two times. Two times. Yes. Oh, um, do you miss? The, I mean, the activity of the Senate and you know. Well, I, I quite missed it. Let me say that uh, because the, the the Senate, unlike the the reps or the House of Assembly, uh, gives you the opportunity to meet uh, people across the nation. Everybody representing different parts of the nation. So we will have there an assemblage of people representing the nation there. And then to be amongst them is a privilege. And uh, I just want to say that uh, the, this present Senate is uh, quite lucky. And uh, they are being uh, run for the first time by a true uh, progressive, not uh, a conservative progressive, no, true progressive. So that is the night uh, uh, the Senate, they are quite uh, uh, lucky for that. But, uh